All right, what's up, Timmy Academy? Are we are we good? Are we golden? Figure we give YouTube a try again. Um, let's see. Figured I'd break out the uh, Tempest binder that I just got in the mail, since we're breaking Tempest. Um, I've got a full set. I got rid of a couple full sets recently because I was hunting power for my Unlimited set. Um, and then I saw someone had posted these. I think there was a, there's a Tempest, a Mirage a Urza's Legacy and a Nemesis. So I've got a couple, I've got a Tempest and a Mirage sleeved up and ready to go. So I'll probably put them in these binders. And then I've got, um, I've got a Legacy that I still have to build. I know I have it full. Um, I just gotta actually sit down and take the time to build it. Hopefully we get a couple people in here tonight. Um, we've got, I believe we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got ten people in this break. Uh, two people had uh, double packs. Um, we've actually had nine people in the break. Someone dropped out. Um, and so there's there is one pack left if anybody wants it um it'll be i'm gonna seal it and it'll get a number um and actually the um it'll get a prize too so Uh, we're going to be doing prizes a little differently tonight because there's many of them that there's only one. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll randomize the list and we will randomize the names. 
We'll randomize the list. We'll roll a die and randomize the list of prizes. Um, set that into the spreadsheet, and then we'll randomize. We'll roll a die, randomize the list of names, set that into the spreadsheet next to each other, and that'll determine who gets what. Um, so it's a little more... I think this might be the method we're going to do from now on, maybe? Uh, we'll see how people like it, but because there's some higher-end prizes, um, I just figured it would be a little more, a little more fair. So, uh, yeah, and we, I, I kind of went balls to the wall with the prizes tonight because, uh, the people who bought into this break have been waiting three months is it? I th it might even be a longer than that, but it's at least been three months um, since everyone's been paid up and we filled the break. There was a long, long, long story and wait with. What's up, Heinrich? Welcome. Um, there's a long story behind the uh, the acrylics, and I'm still talking to the gentleman who is the local manufacturer who's, he's been gearing up and he's been doing some work on them, but he runs like three businesses and he just, and has, uh, I think he has three kids, one of whom is, two of whom I think are in high school. Um, so with graduation, all the crap that's been going on, uh, and running his businesses and being a good wife and not wife being a good husband and father um, he's just been stupid busy so we've been in communication the whole time um, and he just can't find any time to put together this project but uh, we spoke on the phone the other day and he is going as soon as everything kind of calms down here in the next month, we're going to get together. We're going to throw some acrylics together and see if we can get some production done on some acrylics because, I mean, everyone is sold out. Now, the ones we have tonight, I'll show you. Um, oh, if anybody does want, I probably will be letting go one more set of Tempest, full set of Tempest, uh, probably in this binder, and a set of Mirage. So if anybody wants uh, that, just give me a holler. Um... Find me on Facebook, you know the drill, or you can email me at the, uh, doop, the, where's, where's down? The email address down below. Yeah, I, Neil, I was going to do Facebook, but, um, the problem with Facebook for box breaks, and maybe I just don't, uh, know how to do it, but, uh, it doesn't record it for all of time, I don't think. So... Uh, I like the idea of doing it on YouTube because it's just there forever. So if, you know, you've got the break um, and then you're wanting to sell your pack later on down the road, you can just send them to my YouTube channel and it'll be there. Um, so that is the thing I do not like about Facebook's. So hopefully YouTube cooperates with us this evening. It seems to be very clear. The lag is low. Um, everything seems to be doing pretty good. So we're going to roll with it. Uh, obviously, if it messes up, everybody just meet me over at Facebook. We're not going to we're not gonna fuss around with it for an hour like we did last time. Um, we'll just move it right over if it decides it wants to crap out. So, um, yeah. Looks like we got seven people in here. There's ten people in the break. There's three, four? I think there's four international folks. So, um, or if you delete your FB group one day. Never! Maybe when I retire from this craziness. Um, I'm in my third career? I don't know. I don't know. Is this even a career? This is just, I'm just some crazy dude slinging cardboard. Uh, tonight I am drinking some Costco red wine. It's actually pretty good. Uh, it is a red blend from Portugal. I do like Spanish and Portuguese red wine. Um, and Argentinian red wine. Malbecs, Tempranillos, Re uh, Reservas, stuff like that. Uh, I do like stuff from Peso Robles, California as well. 
So if anyone wants to send me wine, all of those are good good bottles to put in the mail. Although uh, putting mail putting wine in the mail in the summer months is probably not the best idea because that crap's just gonna get hot and potentially go bad. So wait till December to send me wine. Right, Rioja are excellent. Um, so without further ado, we will get into it. Uh, I'm gonna turn the camera a little bit. Uh, so that is the pile of prizes. Is this the weather? Oh, does it say weather light break? Oh, it does. Ew, look at that. Let's uh, let's just edit that real quick. Hold, please. Thanks, Matt. All right. There we go. I changed it. I changed it. It's weird, though. They never, like, prompt you. Whenever you go to do a live video, they don't prompt you to, like, start a new... It just carries over from the last one so it's not my fault it's youtube's fault so here's the pile of prizes we've got tonight um we've got a full set of m12 sealed mol just something that's been sitting in my sealed collection for a while and uh i just thought it'd be a cool fun prize um we're going to be giving away a 5th edition starter as well this evening if my camera would focus Come on. There we go. 5th edition starter, and I will seal it in one of these beautiful acrylics. Um, we've got a pack of guild pins. Uh, we've got a... I believe this is World Wake, because that's Dragon Master Outcast is the card. Um, so I think that's World Wake or... Yeah, it's World Wake. Um, and then we have a an MTG t-shirt, size large. Uh, sorry if you're not large and you get it, but give it to someone you love. Um, it's got all the guilds on it. We got a bunch of packs of Fallen Empires, and then we have a full set of patches. Um, they are pretty sweet. They're like arm patches, uh, one for each color. So, come on. There we go. So that's a green one. It doesn't have the normal like symbol on it. Like That's the... That's the skull. So, pretty cool. Um, whoever gets that will get the full set. So, yeah. Um, those are the prizes for this evening. A little spicier than normal because, well, this is, you know, the folks who bought in have been waiting a long time um, to get this to get this done. Now I'm just going to mess with the camera for a little bit and just uh, just give everybody seasickness. Take your Dramamine now if you need to. Uh, the lighting is also being a pain in my studio, my office. Um, it just won't, it just, my camera is, I guess the camera is being a pain. Right? Aren't the patches cool? I like the patches too. I have two more sets of patches, so I was okay with giving away one set. Because um, one day I'm just going to be a super nerd and I'm going to put a patch. I'm going to get, like, whatever. Some button-up, like, kitchen-style shirt and put a patch on each one. Haha! -ha! The goodies are awesome. And like I said, we're going to do it a little differently, so it's. I feel like this is a little more fair. So, um... Before we start, uh, actually, let's just go ahead. Let's break, and then we'll do the, uh, and then we'll do the prizes after. So, let us see. Here's the box. It is beautiful. Um, I got this last year in a trade. I think I traded a bunch of duels. I had like built a legacy. Um, a, a legacy deck and nobody played legacy in Denver. So, uh, I wound up just trading it 
for this box of Tempest starters. Uh, Tempest is one of my very nostalgic sets, sets from back in the day. I remember buying uh, starter decks in the Wizards of the Coast store at the mall. That and Urza Saga. Um, so yeah, a little sad to see it go, but uh, this the uh, sale of this box, the break of this box, actually helped us... Um, buy some alpha duels uh, so that's kind of where the proceeds went uh, so it's you know it's sad to see this go but at the same time alpha duels are freaking cool so without further ado let's do this uh, we'll get the break list up to the top here we go um, oh actually before we do that we need to roll some die. Uh, so we will roll the standard 10-sided die. Um, I'm going to roll it in between the acrylics. And we will uh, see how many times we're going to randomize. We're going to random seven times. We'll get... All right, so we're gonna go one through 12. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we will, we will start at Number, s oh wait, number three. What was it? It was number three, right. There we go. So Tony will be the first starter. And then we'll go from there. Nine, 11, and 12. All right. So the break is going to be quick. Um, the thing that's going to take a while is putting the stickers on and everything. So just bear with me while we do the boring part, and then we'll do the prizes afterwards. Because uh, I want to keep y'all here to hang out with me instead of just bouncing, see the prize, and then bounce. Just kidding, I don't think y'all do that. Um, all right. So... And if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, Prabal has laid claim to every box that I open. Um, but Prabal, I may keep this one. We'll talk about it. You're not in this break, so I may just keep this box. Um, Let's see. I'm a little, not exactly off camera, but I'm not exactly on camera either. It's just hard with all these, these acrylics. Oh man, it took me like two and a half hours to build all these and take the paper off of them. They're really nice. I like them a lot, but man, the effort to build this is, to build these things is a, it's a pain. It's really a pain. All right, uh, no going back now. Let's see, let's see how nice and, uh, Oh man, that's freaking cool. <laughs> wow. All right, let's keep these on on camera here. Is that better? That's better. They are very crispy. They are really nice. Uh, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop them all in their cases, and then we'll seal them up, and we'll number them one 
through 12. I think that's going to be the best way to do it, kind of like an assembly line. Um, they fit really snug. We have some uh, loose Tempest starters here um, in inventory, so I did a test, and look at that. It, like, almost... They're perfect. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and we'll put, put them all in here. And I have all the tops lined up with the screws and everything. So the actual breaking will go pretty quickly. Um, they're super clear. Uh, they're really nice acrylics. If you want some, um, I pretty much told the guy, I said, hey, everybody is out of these acrylics. So you may want to just make a ton of this size and I can give you some other sizes. Um, and you should make like a hundred of them and just put them up for sale because apparently it's uh, pretty labor intensive to make them as well. I think he's just making them kind of in his office. So Man, this is so much easier than breaking down a booster box. We should only do Tempest starters from, or not Tempest starters, but we should only do starter boxes from now on. Um, we do have a box of revised starters. If, if anybody wants in on that, I don't know what the break price would be. I mean, north of 1500 probably, or like maybe at 1500 per. If anybody's interested in that. I kind of put the feelers out and didn't get much response. So um, let me know if if we get enough traction, maybe we'll we'll do that kind of thing. Uh, well, that's it. Box is empty already. Uh, all the starters look great. I don't think anyone should have any issues with you know them being messed up or anything. Um, at first glance, they all look excellent. So. So these things are pretty cool. Um, they kind of just, they've got this Tetris kind of look to them. It may be a pain in the butt to put them together though. I obviously have not done that yet. I just kind of put the backs on, screwed it in, and then I was like, well, I guess I'm gonna have to get to them live. Uh, let's see, yeah, these are, these are troublesome. There we go. There we go. All right. Well, wow. That is, that is a tight fit. So the way it works, oh, it's kind of getting dark, huh? Let's see if we can adjust the lighting. My heart wants a revised starter, but those stimmies ran out. Do you have extras of the acrylic boxes? So I ordered three extra. One, um, one of our uh, break entrants uh, from France asked me for an extra one. So I ordered one for him, and then I ordered two extras. Now one is going to go to the person who gets the fifth edition starter. Then I have one more, Heinrich, if you want it. Claim it now. It's the last one I have. Um, I believe they're like seventeen bucks a piece. Uh, yeah, wow, that's a that's a cool fit. And I mean, these things look pretty cool. I don't know if I like them more than the graded power because you can't slide it out. You actually have to put the screws in. Let's see if we can get a close up. Yeah, see the screws. You'll see here in a second. But um, but they are nice. They are nice. So I guess the thing will go across the back like this. I'll see if it'll stretch all the way. Or maybe I'll just do, well, I guess I have to do the front and back. This will be interesting. We'll figure it out on the fly together. Together. Okay, so the way it should work is, okay, so much for a fast break. Yep. And then we got this little Allen key. Boop, which he kindly sent along with. Um, there it is. That's it. Put it in there. They do look cool. They're hefty. 
the um, the millimeter thickness of the acrylic is, I believe, uh, graded power is three sixteenths, and these are one eighth. Uh, it doesn't move like the fit is perfect. He did a really good job because these were custom. I gave him the dimensions. These were custom, and the fit is really nice. There's no movement there whatsoever. So, um, all right, let's see how we're gonna seal this. Let's see how we're gonna seal this. suppose we just do that. Does that look all right to everyone? Was that a little too much on the... Tell me what you think before I seal the second one. I mean, it's not touching here. Um... So let me know what you think. Uh... Is that, is that kosher? Got you, Heinrich. Let me know if anyone is against that. Uh, I'm going to go with that for now. What is today? Is the 24th? One. All right, speak now or forever hold your peace. They're all gonna get sealed this way. I suppose you could clip it, but you'd still have tamper. Yeah, I don't think you could, because you have to remove the back or front with the screws in order. Yeah, I think that is truly tamper resistant, so. All right, on to the second one. It's going to take me five minutes just to get this thing on here. So it seems like lining these up perfectly is going to be the way to go before I even... There's lots of pieces of acrylic that need to line up in order for this to go on. And they are, I mean, the fits are so tight. Like all these... There it is. All right, nice, that one was a little easier. And then I suppose we drop that in there. Yeah, putting these together was a pain in the butt. The worst part was they all came with paper on them to protect the acrylic. Um, and that was, uh, that was not fun peeling them because they don't have a peel tab on them. So you just gotta kinda use your nails and I have no nails. If you've never seen my fingers, um, I bite all of my nails off. Words of Blind Melon. I got no fingernails, I ate them off, I was hungry as hell. <laughs> there you go, you get a little, get a little karaoke with your break. Uh, I'm gonna go a little further to the side on this one. That way, yeah, that looks better. That looks better. All right, choices. All right, uh, where are we even? Okay, so one was Tony, number two was Sten. He's down in Australia. Number three is gonna be Sten as well. And the fourth one will be our open spot. Um, what's going on in the world of magic, guys? Pretty quiet, huh? Modern Horizons 2, it's overpriced, blah, blah, blah. Any flesh and blood, uh? Players, collectors, investors, evil 3% ladies out there. Also, 
uh, for my rejects. What's going on, rejects? What is going I haven't looked at the page in like two days, and all of a sudden there's craziness. Pages shutting down, all this crap. I have not looked into it at all. I've been I've buried in uh, inventory uploads and shipping. I think I got 700 orders out today. Mondays are always a pain. Um, but, yeah, I saw, like, this. another page was open. I don't know. Craziness. Hope everything's okay. I hope everyone's... Hope what, whoever's fighting will stop fighting or whatever's going on will stop going on. Because uh, it's a source of, like, MTG calm that is not very common in most of the other groups so and most of you probably have no idea what I'm talking about but for those rejects out there you know you know Also, we're not going to open any packs today, guys. Um, all the Fallen Empire packs, I'm just going to send sealed. Um, because I think... Oops. Um, whoever gets them should have the joy of opening them themselves for this one. This is just a short break. And uh, so... You know. Uh, but I do hope you uh, open them on camera, uh, record it, or at least take pictures of your polls. I really love to see when people open stuff from, from these box breaks and post them in the uh, the Goods MTG group. That's awesome. Usually I get a, a PM first that's like, look what I just opened. Like uh, Vincent just opened a null rod from the Weatherlight break. That was pretty sweet. Uh, I don't know if everyone saw it, but um, it was pretty cool. So usually I get a, a message and I'm like, post it in the group. Everybody wants to see it. Everybody needs to know what the polls are. How's life going? I don't know, man. I have no idea. It's going. It's I'm like busy every day doing fun things and mostly work things, but also fun things. And I mean, I'm happy. I don't know if I'm like in going down the right road or in the right direction, but there's not many times in my life where I can say that I've been happy, truly, you know, content with what I'm doing. Um, and I am. I'm I'm living for me, which is uh, different than I have been living for a very long time. So, uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I wish magic sales picked up a little bit more. I mean, we are in a lull of sales right now. TCG players still going strong, which pays the bills. <laughs> I don't know if I'm taking time for myself. I'm taking time to work, um, which if you know me, uh, that's kind of what makes me happy. And, uh, you know, that technically is time for myself, but... Uh, I'm taking a little bit of time. This weekend, I'm going to go up to the mountains um, and relax for a little bit. Uh, so I'll take, you know, I'll take a day off. Um, but, yeah, it's good. Everything's good. I mean, everything's just kind of going. I just, uh, seems like Facebook sales have just kind of dropped off. Um which makes sense because I think we're kind of in that, well, one, that time of year. This time of year is always, like, not great for sales, seemingly. Um, and I think everyone went crazy spending for the last couple months on Magic. So everyone's kind of, like, backing off. I mean, I know I went crazy spending. Um, and so it's, like, now credit card bills are coming due and, like, you know, everyone's got to kind of take a step back and be like, whoa, uh, did I overspend? So, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's going, it's going. Uh, TC, like I said, TCG player is 
still going crazy. I shipped out six, seven hundred orders today, so uh, that's still going strong. But uh, high end stuff is just hard to move right now. Um, we did sell that beta starter. Uh, sad that we didn't get to break it, but um, but it was nice to move that piece and. Uh, that's actually where the revised uh, booster box came from. Uh, it was a partial trade. So that last one was the open spot, if anybody wants that one. And then this is for Liam. All right. These look really good. I don't, like... I, you know, the more I look at them, they're... Like, you could throw this thing off a 10-story building, and it would probably crack, but the starter would be fine. It's, like, super snug in there. I think it'll display really nicely. Um, yeah, I like these a lot. So, uh, yeah, they're cool. I dig them. I dig them. There's like just enough wiggle room to make you feel like it's not too tight. Like he got the cuts perfect on these. Okay. So there we go. Yeah, look at that. That's so good. How's everybody else out there? Seems like, seems like Heinrich, you're the only one still hanging out. Wow. I know, this is a boring break. We're not opening packs. We're just putting screws in stuff. All right. I'm getting the hang of this. I think the first one that I built took me like 15 minutes to build, and by the end I had it down to like 7 minutes. Alright, number 6. These look sexy. I have a month off to study. You have a month off to study for an exam? Are you, uh, you're in med school, right? Yeah, I think everybody is. I mean, you had to go hard. How could you not? There was so much good crap for sale. And there was just that two month period where you're like, dude, if I don't buy it now, I'm never going to be able to buy it. Like, their prices are just going to keep going crazy. Now, of course, we're in the retracement period. And so I think a bit of it is overspending and a bit is people wanting to see where the market falls. Uh, Heinrich, number six was yours, bud. Uh, next round to Damon. Step two is the exam. It's real hard. I bet it is. I mean, that's... I'm I'm glad it's hard because uh, that's a pretty important job. We always we always had this uh, saying in the kitchen that like, you know, when people would get upset, it's like, yeah, dude, I know you're angry, but uh, we're not. It's not life and death in here. Um, you can't say that in your line of work. So it's good that it's hard because it, you know. It's an important job. More power to you, man. What is it? Eight years of school? How far? How far in are you? Numero siete. I 
a year off. You'll do your best just for me. <laughs> Much love, dude. So what year... So you're a year off. Is it eight years? Seven years? Nine years? I know it's more than... It's got to be more than six, right? Number seven, who is that? Steer clear from any hospitals in Boston this coming 20 to you on me. At least not yet. All right, well, I'll, uh, I, got a, I got a very good friend who I've known for about 15 years who lives in Boston. I'll, I'll tell him to steer clear. You let me know where you're practicing, and uh, I'll tell him to stay away. Uh, Romaine, that was for you. Josh Saylor is getting... Siler Saylor is getting the next two packs believe right is that correct no 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 romaine is getting the next one damien got the last got seven so this will be romaine and then these will be josh's come on baby come on four years of undergrad four years of med school so i'm year seven okay so eight total that's insane i mean do you like school? Because, I mean, when I was, I, I mean, I just did undergrad and didn't even get my degree, but uh, in, like, year three and four, I fucking loved school. I was so into it. And it just felt like, I don't know, it just felt like what I wanted to be doing. So it didn't, you know, it didn't feel oppressive to me at all. I imagine after, like, probably year five or six, you might get a little bit like all right let's just be done with this let's get on to the on to the career part but but if you love school if you're like a lifelong learner I mean I was going to school to be a teacher so um, that obviously you have to you have to kind of be into school and teaching and learning if that's your track but but I feel like you know, there's this probably a similar mindset becoming a doctor because you're always going to have to keep learning and uh, keeping up with new new stuff. I imagine the uh, ongoing education piece of being a doctor is very uh, immersive and mandatory. <laughs> Where are we at? Number eight. I'm basically your MTG teacher. I have many MTG students, Heinrich. You are one of my favorites. Um, I actually may have picked up a new intern. Um, I met with a guy locally the other day. Really cool dude. He's a firefighter. Um, he's got like six days off in a row most of the time and then works a couple days, like 24-hour shifts, as firefighters do. Um... <laughs> And he's kind of getting into the magic side hustle investing thing. And so, I'm going to, you know, teach him what I know. Uh, probably hook him up with some good deals. Um, and just kind of show him what I do. Because he's got a good head on his shoulders. And I think he could do really well. He definitely seems to care about people and, you know, have the right attitude which I think is the most important part for doing this as a living. You have to actually give a crap, you know? Otherwise, it doesn't work. If you're just in it for making a quick buck, then you won't build a long-term thing here in this, in this market, so. I see you. There's a bromance brewing. It's been brewing a long time. Uh, let's see. Let's get that one. That was a
was number nine. So that was Mr. Sailor. Siler, Sailor. Josh, tell me how to say your name. There we go. Um, also, guys, hit me up if you want to do a box break of Stronghold. It is potentially something that we could get our hands on. It would be stupid expensive. Like, it would have to be... It'd probably be 375? 400? I don't know. Yeah, 400, I guess? What is a box? 10 grand? Um, but it was. It was. Floated by me the other day as a part of a trade. Um, I love Stronghold. I think everyone loves Stronghold. I mean, the possibilities for two. Mox Diamonds and two Sliver Queens in the break. Um, as we have seen from the great Taco Master. Uh, so, if that's a thing that people would be into, I would consider trading for it. Uh, probably wouldn't, like, just kind of sit on it, because it's just too much to have tied up. All right. Up. Give me a little work area now that it's almost done. All right, we're going back to the top of the list. No, uh, no problems with YouTube today. That's pretty excellent. <laughs> You're actually still awake. This is amazing. Everyone, if you have not met Matthew, right? Stupid. Um, Matt is my business partner, and he usually falls asleep for the breaks. So, <laughs> there's a running joke that, uh, like 10 o'clock, he's just out. He gets all set up, and he just falls asleep. I'm always, the next day, I'm like, dude, you weren't even on the break. He's like, yeah, I was asleep. Uh, back up to the top of the list, Joe Torres, who is in every break. This one's for you, sir. And then we got the last one next for Jesse P. Craig, which will be going all the way to Australia. And actually, it's kind of funny. Uh, Sten and Jesse know each other. Uh, and they bought into the break separately. And then I asked... I don't know how it happened. If I asked them or they... Um, but they're actually getting everything shipped together because uh, they know each other. They're friends. So that... Definitely helps. Saves a couple bucks on shipping. All the way to Aussie Land. All right. Joe, this one's for you, bud. I'll throw it in your uh, pile of stuff I need to bring up to you. Oh, Joe, I have your dragons, too, pulled aside. I haven't, like, priced them out or anything, but I have them all pulled aside. I did not upload them onto TCG Player. All right. Number 12. That wasn't as painful as I thought it would be. That's a beautiful sight. Uh, and like I said, if anybody wants these acrylics, the guy said he, I mean, the turnaround time was pretty quick. He hit me up kind of the beginning of last week or maybe this so last Sunday or something, not this past Sunday, but the Sunday before, um, and was like, Hey, I might be able to help you out with these acrylics. Give me the uh, dimensions. And they were here within about a week. So, all right. 
That is the last one. So now, we'll get to the fun part, guys. Um, let's roll some dice. Sleep's important. Sleep is not important. I wish you were so wise. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And I take it well, which is why you all enjoy poking fun at me. I will drink to that. I just like the attention, so um, feel free to poke as much fun. Plus, you can't hurt my feelings. I mean, you probably can, but, like, you'd have to push pretty hard. I love you all. And I love the abuse. Um, all right. Uh, how are we going to do this? Let's get the, uh, let's get the break list back up. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to... Copy this list. I'm actually going to... I'll cut this list. Then we're going to go over to random. we we'll go to list randomizer. Um, let's see. Does this work better? Yeah, that works better. Okay. So we'll put everything in the list randomizer. This is the... Um, that's the list of prizes. So we'll roll a 10-sided die, and we'll see how many times we'll randomize this list, and then we'll uh, paste it back into the spreadsheet. Oh, can anyone see that? It is 60. Let's get a zoom in. Let's move that up a little bit. There you go. That is a 60. So we'll randomize this six times. Back to the list. That's randomize. Did it go? It did not. Randomize. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we'll copy that, put it back in the sheet. Wow, that was almost the same. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same with the uh, with the names. So we'll copy those. We'll go back. Ah, oh, come on. Go back to random. Go to list, uh, silly me. All right. So we'll put the names in here. We'll roll the dice again. Let's get another roll. We've got 70. If you're gonna be able to see that. Can you see it? It's... There you go. We got 70. Go back to the random list and we'll randomize seven times. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. All right. Oh, man, Heinrich. <laughs> Your prize for doing all the talking is, I believe, the fifth edition starter. So we'll go back here. All right. So, uh, looks like Heinrich got the fifth edition starter. Siler got the t-shirt and the guild pins. World Weight Life Counter will go with the uh, open spot pack. Uh, Sten Langman's getting the full set of M12 and a Fallen Empires pack. 
Tony Hutz, you're getting a Fallen Empires pack. Jesse P. Craig is getting a Fallen Empires pack. Damien's getting a Fallen Empires. Liam's getting a Fallen Empires. Romaine is getting the set of patches. And Joe, you are getting a Fallen Empires. Yeah. You got like three acrylic boxes. That And that's all the value is just the acrylic boxes. Um, so let's go ahead and seal the 5th edition starter up. Um, everyone else is just going to get the stuff sent to them. Uh, I have I have it in the spreadsheet, so I will know what to ship you. Don't you worry. Uh, I believe Heinrich and... Um, Heinrich and Sten kind of won out there with the, the top prizes in my eyes. Um, with the uh, M12 and the 5th edition starter. Heinrich, I'm glad you got this, man. You So, I, how many starters have you bought off me? Uh, it's got to be... What? Uh, Urza Saga. Mirage. Now Tempest. Fifth edition. It's at least four. Countless singles and packs. It's what's inside that matters. Alright, I'm Heinrich, I'm gonna mark it Lucy. Um, since it didn't come out of a box, I mean, it kind of came out of a box. I bought an open box from a guy, but it's not part of a break. So with all my Lucy stuff, I will just mark it Lucy. Actually, I'm just not going to mark it. Well, yeah, I'll mark it Lucy. All right, dude. Uh, let's take an up close look at all the rest of the prizes. Um, Sten, you got the uh, M12 full set. I just want your signature on it. I'll send everyone some signed crap. Um, in this break as well, we'll do some. We'll do some more sigs. I'm trying not to put too many SIGs out there, so when I'm truly famous and and rich, um, my signature is actually worth something, you know? Oh, geez. No. I mean, I wish we were cracking them, but I don't think the... Uh, I don't think the people in the break would like that very much. I think they just want the sealed, sealed stuff, so... Seem to affect the light that M12 thing going up there. I don't know what's going on with the lighting. I can't figure it out. The more light I put on the table, the less good it seems to be. So uh, it's getting very dark. It's getting very dark. Uh, so these are the guild pins. Um, who got that? Who got the guild pins? Josh Saylor got the guild pins um, and the t-shirt. That's for you, Josh. Sten, that's for you. Um, and a Fallen Empires pack. Uh, Romaine, you got the patches. Heinrich got the grand prize. Although technically the M12 pack is worth more money, I think the 5th edition is better. Um, and then everyone else got a pack of Fallen Empires, which I will let you open at your leisure. Um, please post your polls to the Goods MTG, all one word, in Facebook. I'm sure everybody uh, here knows that group, but for those who don't, uh, search us up on Facebook. It's an awesome group with awesome people. Uh, everyone in there, for the most part, is a regular customer or a friend or something of the like. Guys, thanks for hanging out with me for the break. 
Um, the next one we're filling here, I'll give you a, I'll give you the Mohawk shot for the day. Uh, so the next one we're filling is revised. Uh, it's five hundred dollars a pack. We're gonna do it in um, in the team bags, not in the acrylics, uh, because a they're impossible to find right now, and b there's been a lot of issues with the older packs opening up in the acrylics. I've heard it's heat buildup. Uh, not really sure, but the seal on the older packs seems to come loose in shipping in the acrylics. So that's presented a whole slew of issues in the sealed community and vintage community and all that crap so um we'll do it in the team bags um if you want in message me uh you'll see it in the sealed collectors group on facebook um you'll also see it on the goods but the only place to sign up is in the sealed collectors group we only run uh one live sign up sheet at a time so usually it goes in my group first we start it there we get some people in and then we move it to the big group um what else do we have going on uh after that we'll we've got visions filling in the personal group we'll move that to the big group next and mirage there wasn't a whole lot of interest to break that as the block so uh weather light filled fast i was, i assume visions will too it's already about a third filled. Um, so after revised fills, we'll move to Visions, and then we'll move to Mirage, um, which I think Mirage will fill a little slower because of the price point. Um, and then, yeah, we've got lots of other cool stuff for sale. Um, we're talking about opening an LGS slash badass sandwich shop. Um, that's probably a long ways away, but it's, it's being talked about. So, um, yeah, those are the updates. I'm going to get back to packing orders, uh, cause I still have another 90, I have 90 envelopes to stuff and I've got lots of inventory to upload. So, uh, I'm going to go drink some wine and do that. Peace, Timmy Academy, my friends, my family, I love you all. I will see you soon. Um, you know where to find me if you need me.